Hi, we're here with Dr. Jamie Kulaga from Dr. Jamie Inc. She's going to give us some tips on how to maintain your mental health through a divorce. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the first one, it, you know, divorce creates so much emotion inside and oftentimes it's anger. Anger is a powerful emotion. And so if you can take that anger and you can channel it into something healthy, that would be my tip number one. Set goals, create, how do I wanna reinvent myself, reinvigorate myself? Set those goals and channel that anger into those goals to bring yourself forward. Yeah, it's, it's great advice. And from my perspective, that really helps you as a client to get in the right frame of mind, to come to the table for an agreement and that will help you and your family, you and your children, make the right decisions that at the end of the day, you know, it, it will help everyone. Yep. Well, and another tip that I'd like to share is uh, avoid rumination. Rumination, we talk about mindset, right? Rumination is where you think and think and think about the same thing. So you're rehashing it. Maybe you're, why did I ever marry him? And what was I thinking? And why didn't I see the signs? And you just are ruminating. Instead, when you ruminate, Put a, visualize a stop sign in your head, say stop, and rechannel that mindset into thinking about something else. And that is another excellent tip because often my clients, they'll call me and you know, day after day, they'll say the same thing over and over and over again. And I, I take notes on it, mm -hmm. um, but it's not helping you and it's honestly costing you more money mm -hmm. you know, to tell me the same thing over and over and over again. But trust me that what you've told me, I've taken detailed notes on and you know, I'm your lawyer, I'm not your counselor. So, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes you do need to vent, but venting on the same topic every day is gonna, quite frankly, cost you more mm -hmm. in attorney's fees than if you would pay a therapist to do that. Well, and venting kind of brings me to my next tip, which is using support systems. Have support systems, you know, so often people are like, I did it on my own, I've done it all by myself. Now's the time not to do it by yourself. Have friends, talk to family, vent to them, uh, journal, but find ways to use your support systems uh, in a manner that can help you uh, feel less stress. I, I definitely would agree with that, and that, that'll help you get through this often very, very difficult process. It's incredibly emotional, so I, I think that's a great tip. Um, and then I, I would probably say, don't be impulsive. You know, during divorce, you're forced to make a lot of major decisions in the moment, right? That's why people hire you. Absolutely. But at the same time, if there's other big decisions in life, buying a house or buying a car or whatever else it might be, if you don't have to make that decision, wait on it, retreat, wait about a year, and then make big decisions that you don't have to make right now excellent tip and that definitely can transition into your you know decisions you make during the divorce i would not recommend waiting a year to mm -hmm. make a decision about custody etc right. but you know there's a lot of emotion going on yeah and you want to make the decisions about your finances and your children absent that emotion yeah. so give it a day sleep on it you know yeah. um the, they say the wheels of justice move slowly mm -hmm. the court system is a very slow process so you don't have to decide every single thing right now mm -hmm. you know take your time think about it you know be in the right frame of mind when you do make these decisions that ultimately affect your family you know and your finances well and my last tip for you is um exercise and i know people are probably pulling out their hair why does this always come up uh, but it truly is a healer it increases your endorphins makes you feel more positive and good in your own skin it reduces all of that stress so uh, get outside get in the gym and exercise Without a doubt, excellent tip. I go do some yoga, try to relax, you know, because it is stressful and it does take its toll. And when it comes time for you and I to make these decisions at mediation or prepare for court, I want you to be in your best frame of mind so that we can present the best case. Excellent. Thank you for having me Thank today. Thank you very Hope much. Hope you enjoyed Dr. those Jamie. tips.